Hello and welcome to Epic Tech. Today we have an interesting piece of technology and let's just open her right up. And this is the Mavic Air 2S. Very quick unboxing. We're just gonna get straight to the punch. Let's see the image quality. So the question we're trying to answer here today is can we vlog with the DJI Air 2S drone? And if you're wondering, I'm out on the Kinsman Trail in North Bay, Ontario. And we're, gonna... and we're now in the air. An awesome bridge crossing here in the Kinsman Trail. We just past the driving range. And I'm loving this. We're gonna try and do some active track. It's pretty difficult, it's just this dense bush here though. Good morning. Model you have? Uh, it's the Air 2S. Yeah, yeah, have you seen the new one? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The three, eh? Yeah. 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 The All right, this is our test of active track and very dense bush. Let's see how it does. I'm gonna slowly move forward. The goal of today's experiment here is actually to see not only if we can use the DJI Air 2S to vlog, but exclusively for the entirety of a whole video. Is it a suitable all-in-one video recording camera? In my experience with the Rode wireless microphone in your pocket, it's already almost possible. I would just have to add a few considerations for DJI to add as a software improvement to make this drone just perfect as an all-in-one device. You can probably tell however from what you're currently watching that I was having some serious difficulty with the active track, uh, mostly just in trusting it. The active track seemed to be doing its job quite well. It's just that I typically fly my drone manually and after a year and a half only finally started using this new active track 4.0 feature and uh, you know I wish I would have uh, explored it a little sooner and gotten used to it and and learnt its little quirks and features and I should definitely pick up the speed on this bike here however I'm just really being overly cautious and also trying to keep in mind that there's other people using this trail and that I need to be ready to set the drone down if any other riders were to pass me. Now I would have also liked to get the drone above the trees to track me in the trail. Do let me know if there's a GPS tracking feature buried in the menu that would allow the drone to just follow the GPS signal of the remote. I'm not sure if the hardware is present for that or if it's just a software fix they could add, but that would be one of the considerations to uh, improve this as an aerial device. I will, however, be sharing with you very shortly my multiple considerations for this as a regular video recording camera and these features would also improve its battery life in that mode. So as you can see the Air 2S actually has a beautiful look here under studio light in 4k at 30 fps. You want to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for dinner? Now I figured I'd share my time eating my peanut butter and jelly sandwich with you. It is a great demonstration of the DJI Air 2S's capabilities. Look at that little gimbal up. And it's light gathering abilities under window light. Is it the best dessert sandwich you've ever had? I think 
this uh, regular colored 4K oversampled video actually looks pretty great to me and the color, sharpness, and contrast don't look terrible. It's a bit punchy and it would be great to have some extra latitude in post but it's, it's not terrible. I'm scared. It reminded me of being a child. I haven't had a peanut butter and banana toast in three and a half quarter centuries. For those wondering what was inside my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I had organic peanut butter, strawberry and bananas with hemp hearts and collagen powder and the bread is a sourdough variety. It's been about 10 years since I've had the luxury of having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner. So it's now been over a year since I've owned the DJI Air 2S and the, the quality of the video in a studio like this actually looks pretty good. I think it's about a 24 millimeter lens, 4K 30 FPS codec. Uh, that's just the one I was using outside, so I'm gonna continue to use it in here. Um, it does shoot in 5.4K, which also looks excellent. Now, I've been thinking of ways that DJI could make this a better camera for ground use like this, since they have hinted at using some of their cameras for ground use, especially the Inspire series, um, since it's such an expensive camera. Like, hey, don't just use it in the air, use it on the ground too. But that's something that's totally possible with a drone of this size as well. This one inch sensor is very capable and can do quite a bit of things. It would be a shame to only be able to use it in the sky. And that's why I do occasionally sometimes use it as a third camera. I've got my a7 III and a6500 and then sometimes I use my DJI Air 2S as a third camera. And it, it does make for a great wide angle camera and with the 5.4K resolution uh, it gives you a little bit of ability to crop in. The considerations I'm hoping DJI would implement are like a low power mode. So let's turn off all the LED lights, drop the power frequency of the radio so that the drone doesn't heat up so much and need to kick the fan on. Let's, let's turn off the obstacle avoidance so that the CPU doesn't have to do as much processing. And again, the fans don't kick on because the fans are on, they're pretty loud. They're very loud when they kick in and you know at a quiet event like a wedding, any sort of event or ceremony, it's kind of obtrusive to have a drone of flashing lights. I'd have to, I have to like cover it up with black tape, all the LED lights. Sometimes even the lights still shine through. It's just unfortunate that there's, there's no mode here on the drone. Even if I go in the settings here and I turn off obstacle avoidance, it still has the obstacle avoidance systems on in shadow mode. The drone still seems to be wiring up the fans and processing all kinds of information that it doesn't need to be processing right now while it's on the ground. Just give me a button I can press, second function mode button, as a low power mode so that I can use the drone quietly and discreetly on the ground. Another consideration I wish DJI would uh, allow for is in the 4K 30 FPS mode, when you're recording in a typical H.264 format, DJI doesn't allow you to remove their own baked in sharpness or their baked in contrast or saturation. That would be great. Of course, they have normal D-Log and HLG, but some of these other modes can only be accessed if you're shooting with their HEVC codec, which for a typical vlog like today, I want something that's quick something that's baked in the drone and I can just throw onto the computer, throw into my editing software and not have to do any corrections to it other than some minimal tweaks to the white balance. So I did have the original Mavic and I did try the Air 2 and this one is just such a huge step up. That one inch sensor just gives you so much more resolution and clarity over the previous sensors and uh, it really has been an awesome drone with great features and functionality. So comment down below if you're looking for some sort of ground mode so you can keep this drone in your bag as something more versatile than just an aerial camera. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this.